From the previous video, we saw that carboxylic acids are much more acidic as compared to phenols or alcohols. And this acidic strength comes from the stability of its conjugate base. Now any substituent that stabilizes this negatively charged conjugate base, let's say through inductive effect or resonance would make the base more stable, right? And as a result of this increased stability of the conjugate base, the equilibrium would shift more towards the products and thereby generate more H plus ions. In other words, the acidic strength increases. Now the substance can be of two different types, electron donating groups or electron withdrawing groups. Now electron donating group would add more electron density onto this group and destabilize it because here we already have sufficient electron density correct adding more density would only destabilize it and as a result the acidic strength decreases on the other hand electron withdrawing group would stabilize this conjugate base by drawing electron density away from the carboxylate group and as a result of that acidic strength increases so based on this let's solve a couple of questions now so the first question is Arrange the following aliphatic carboxylic acids in the increasing order of their acidic strength. So what are the acids? We have chloroacetic acid, acetic acid and methoxyacetic acid. Now how do we go about solving this? Well the first thing is to look at their conjugate bases and see which among them would be most stable. So let's remove the H here and replace it with a negative charge to get our conjugate bases. Alright? Now what did we just discuss about the substituent effect? We know that an electron withdrawing group would stabilize the conjugate base and increase the acidic strength whereas an electron donating group would have the exact opposite effect, correct? And the substituents that we have here are chlorine, nothing here and a methoxy group. Now what is the nature of these substituents? Are they electron withdrawing or electron donating groups? Let's find out. Let's look at the first one which is chloroacetic acid. As we all know, chlorine is a very strong electron withdrawing group due to its high electronegativity. Yes, chlorine has a very high electronegativity and because of that, it exerts a very strong minus I effect. As a result of that, it would pull electron density away from the carboxylate group and thereby stabilize the anion here. Because of this stabilizing effect, chloroacetic acid is highly acidic. It has a pKa value of around 2.86. Let's look at acetic acid now. The conjugate base is acetate ion. Now here we have CH3 group. What can we comment about that? Methyl group as we all know is an electron donating group via plus I effect. And because of the plus I effect of the methyl group, it would push more electron density onto the carboxylate group and destabilize the anion here. And the consequence would be, yes, decreased acidic strength. And this decrease in the acidic strength is reflected in the pK value as well. The pK value of acetic acid is around 4.76. What about the last one? So the substituent here is a methoxy group, which again exerts an electron withdrawing inductive effect due to the electronegativity of oxygen atom. But interestingly, this inductive effect is actually weaker than the inductive effect of chlorine atom here. This is because even though oxygen atom is electron negative and draws electron density away from the carbon chain, look at the group here, methyl group. Methyl group exerts a positive or a plus I effect and donates more electron density onto the oxygen atom. This plus I effect of the methyl group that pushes electron density onto the oxygen atom can slightly counteract its electron withdrawing nature here. And because of this, the net inductive effect of methoxy group is weaker than it would be if our oxygen atom was attached to let's say hydrogen, which does not have any plus I effect. And because of this weaker minus I effect, even though it does stabilize the conjugate base, it's not very high. And that once again gets reflected in the pK values where the pK value of methoxy acetic acid is about 3.60. From here you can see that chloroacetic acid would be most acidic because of the strong minus I effect of chlorine atom followed by methoxyacetic acid which has a weaker minus I effect of the methoxy group and the last one or the least acidic would be acetic acid because the methyl group exhibits a plus I effect destabilizing the conjugate base. So the correct order of the acidic strength of the carboxylic acids is this. Let's look at another question now. Here again, we need to rank the following in the increasing order of their acidic strength. The first question had aliphatic carboxylic acids and here we have aromatic carboxylic acid. 
So how do we go about solving this question? Once again we need to look at the conjugate bases and see which of these substituents would stabilize the base and which would not. So for that let's remove the hydrogen and replace it with a negative charge to get the corresponding conjugate bases. So let's see what effect does methoxy group have on our acid. Okay? The methoxy group as we discussed in the previous question would exhibit a minus I effect, a weak minus I effect because the oxygen atom here is electronegative and it would put electron density through the sigma bonds. But what we didn't discuss in the previous question was the resonance effect. You see, the lone pair of electrons on the oxygen atom can delocalize with the pi electrons of the benzene ring through resonance. As a result, methoxy group also exhibits plus M effect. So basically we have two opposing effects here. One is the electron withdrawing minus I effect and the other is the electron donating plus M effect which happens because of the delocalization of lone pair of electrons with the pi electrons of the benzene ring. Now which among them would dominate? Obviously it is the resonance effect, correct? Since the resonance effect is more dominating than inductive effect, we can safely consider methoxy group as an electron donating group. And not just that, even if you look at inductive effect, we know that it is distance dependent. And here you can see that the methoxy group is quite far away from our functional group CO-. So the minus I effect is quite insignificant in this case. And as an electron donating group, it would increase the electron density onto the CO- group and thereby destabilizes the conjugate base. And because of that, the acid extent decreases. This is one of the resonance structures that shows how the methoxy group adds more electron density onto the carboxylate ion and thereby destabilizes it. Now next in line is benzoic acid. Benzoic acid has no substituents to influence its stability. But we can safely say that it would be more acidic than methoxybenzoic acid as the conjugate base here would be more stable than when it has an electron donating substituent like methoxy group attached to it. Coming to paranitrobenzoic acid, we have discussed numerous times in the past that a nitro group is an electron withdrawing group both via inductive effect as well as through resonance. The nitrogen in the nitro group has a positive charge and it withdraws electron density through the sigma bonds exhibiting a minus I effect. Now here again because the nitro group is at the para position, the inductive effect becomes insignificant here but not the strong minus M effect. The nitro group draws electron density away from the benzene ring through resonance and in one of the most stable resonance structures, you can see a positive charge at this carbon that is adjacent to the COO- group and this positive charge has an electron withdrawing effect that would stabilize the carboxylate ion. And because of this stabilizing effect, the acidic strength of paranitrobenzoic acid is very high and this gets reflected in the pK values as well. So this is the correct order of the increasing acidic strength. Paramethoxybenzoic acid would be least acidic whereas paranitrobenzoic acid would be most acidic.